Hi guys! Welcome po sa Hugot Tip na yan. This is Sir JV, your mat kahugot. And welcome po sa ating channel. So, para po sa video natin for today guys, ang pag-uusapan natin is all about how to determine whether a relation is a function or not. So guys, on our past video, pinag-usapan natin guys kung ano ba yung tinatawag na relation at yung tinatawag natin function. And we also try to discuss yung iba't ibang uri ng representation ng ating a relation and also our function. So, ngayon, we're going to determine whether a relation is a function or not. So, bagay po ito ng grade 8, second quarter. So, let's have this video, guys. So, pa para sa ating video lesson for this episode, guys, so, ang ating objective is very simple. At the end of this video lesson, we're going to determine the domain and the range of a certain relation and a function. And we're going to determine whether a relation is a function or not. So, pretty basic idea lang guys. We're going to look for the domain and the range and also, we're going to determine whether they are function or not. So, let's have some recall muna, guys. So, ano ba yung tinatawag na relation? So, sabi ko sa inyo, guys, when two or more concepts, object, people are connected with each other with any common reason or cause and effect reason or classification, guys, basta may connection ng dalawang object, relation po siya. Okay? At, guys, kapag pinag-uusapan natin ay mathematics, Yan ha, mat na tayo. Kasi may mga relation, kunyari sa mga tao, girlfriend, boyfriend, relationship, father, mother, kung ano yung section mo, kung ano yung uh, gamit mong, paborito mong kulay, yun yung mga relation na automatic that comes from the real world, ba? If we're talking about mathematics, guys, mat na tayo, guys, ha. We're talking about relation in an ordered pair. So, if we're talking about a set A and a set B, dalawang set siya guys, so we're looking for the first set natin, na usually ang ginagamit natin guys, ay ordered pairs. So sa ordered pair guys, yung set ng all possible first coordinate sa tinatawag nating domain. Tapos yung namang second coordinate naman guys, sa tinatawag nating range. Kung baga sa ordered pair guys, yung X, siya yung domain Yung y ang ating range. So, tandaan nyo po yun guys ha. So, you usually use our relation and function kapag we're dealing with ordered pairs. At ginagamit natin ito sa ating, syempre, mga pag-grabbing at iba pang mga equation. So, ito yung mga representation guys ng relation na diniscuss natin last time. So, we have a mapping diagram, we have a table, we have an ordered pair, we have a graph, and we have an equation or a rule. Now, kung napasin nyo guys dito, itong lahat ng itong nasa first set natin, we're talking about Nara, Tulip, Orchids, Mahogany, Rose, and uh, Mulabe. Yan po yung natawag nating domain. Sila po yung first set natin. Tapos yung tree at flower, siya naman yung range natin. So, kumbaga, Nara, Tulip, and the rest of the gang is included to the domain or the X, guys. Samantalang yung tree and flowers naman on the second set or the range o yung natawag nating mga Ys. ba? So, for our second example table naman natin, yung mga pangalan ng teacher, Sir JV, Ma'am Ma Yula, Sir Jaime, and Ma'am Elisa are said to be the set of the domain. For the range of mathematics, Filipino, English, Tele. Okay. So, for ordered pair naman, guys, so, ito, medyo tandaan nyo tawag lang, guys, to ha? So, ordered pair natin, di ba, laging X and Y yan. So, X, James, Jerome, JV, and Kyle, they are on the domain, guys. While the 8 sincerity, 8 loyalty, 8 love, and 8 sincerity, again, they're or they're belong doon sa tinatawag nating range. Basta domain, X, basta Y, range po siya. So, ito naman guys, kung napansin nyo, sa graph naman, o, oh, kunyari, meron siyang value ng x dito, may value siya ng y, eh di, do, dun mo ibabase yung value ng domain at range natin. 
Same thing with the rule. Kapag nag-rule naman tayo, guys, that will be also possible. All the set of value of x, basta value ng x, domain. Okay? Basta value ng y, range. Now, we also have to discuss about function, guys. So, guys, natandaan nyo, guys. Pag function, lahat ng x, isa lamang ang y. Tandaan nyo po, guys, ha? Pwede ang, ang maraming x magpare-pares sa isang y. Pero hindi pwede ang isang x ay dalawa po ang y. So, for every element of domain, isa lamang ang exactly one element of the range. So, sa pairing, guys, isang x, isang y. So, always remember, yung po yung natawag nating function. Sabi daw dito, guys, it's a golden rule. All function are relation, but only some relation are not function. So, sabihin, guys, Lahat ng function ay relation, but not all relation are said to be function. Okay? So, may mga relation, guys, na uh, function, mayroong mga hindi, syempre. So, we have an ordered pair, guys. So, ordered pair, guys, natin, x and y. So, ang, ang bangit ko lagi sa inyo, guys, lahat ng value ng x are so, said to be the domain or the abscissa. Y range or the Y or the ordinate. So, ilang beses ko nang pinaulit yun. Now, guys, kung kagamitin natin, guys, ito yung function relation. Y yan po. Ito, guys, yung natawag na um, function natin. Okay? Ang ginagawa natin, guys, dito, yung input and output. If we're talking about, guys, di ba pag tayo naalala niyo yung mga points? Di ba pag naghanap tayo ng X and Y value, sinasubstitute sinas sinas natin si X do sa equation natin para makuha si y. So, this will be done the same, guys, dito. Ibig sabihin, guys, kung tayo ay may given rules or equation, pag nagbigay tayo ng x as input, pinasok natin siya, lalabas yung y. So, ibig sabihin, guys, nakadepende ang y sa value ng x. So, yun po itatawag syempre sa part ng ordered pair. Okay. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, laging magkaiba yung set ng x at set ng y. Now, the question is, how are we going to determine whether a relation is a function or not? So, since may iba't iba guys tayo mga representation ng relation, iba't ibang paraan para malaman mo kung siya ay function or not. So, let's start with an ordered pair. So, kung napasin nyo, we have a given guys. So, we have a 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5, 6. So, pakitig na nyo po. We have an A, B, C, D, A. Here, guys. So, if you're the one who's going to answer, alin sa mga ito ang sinasabi nating function, ilan po yung hindi? Okay? You may try to guess, guys. So, given, guys, yung mga item na yan, yung first item ay function. Yung second item natin ay relation. Ang third item na natin ay function. Tapos, ang letter D, guys, ay relation. So, pa paano nangyari natin, guys? Ano ba yung magiging clue natin dito? So, dapat daw sabi, guys, no element of sec X should be the same. Kapag kinawa natin, guys, ang domain na trends yan, dapat walang parehas na X. Now, let's try to look with our domain. Sa domain tayo tingin, tingnan natin kung may parehas sa X nila. Ayun guys, so napasin ninyo, doon sa part ng function, walang parehas sa x. Doon sa y, oh sorry, doon sa letter c, wala na rin parehas sa x. Except for our relation, letter b and letter d. Pansin nyo, one is the same, doon sa part ng ordered pair, lahat ay eh, one may one siya. At also d, mayroong parehas sa four. So automatic guys, ito ay hindi function relation siya. Okay? Pag walang parehas guys sa x, matic. Ordered pair nyo, function yan. Okay. So, we're going to continue, guys, with that. Now, we're going to deal with arrow diagram. So, napakita ko ng sagot, guys. Napansin nyo po. That one is function and the other one's relation. Why? So, no element of X should be the same again. So, pansin nyo, guys, kapag gumawa ng ordered pair dito, we have a 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9, 5, 10. Walang parehas na x. Okay? 
Kung napasa sa kabila, panang ordered per tayo, since partneran siya, we have 2-6, 2-7, yung 2 agad parehas. Okay? May parehas na 2 agad. Meron 2-8, we have 4-7, we have 4-8, dalawang beses inulit yung 4, tatlong beses inulit yung 2 sa X. So, automatic guys, they're not function. At sabi ko sa inyo guys, recall natin, pag 1 is to 1, many is to 1, automatic function. Eh, ito pong relation natin guys ito. Ito po ay one to many. Automatic po, hindi siya function. Okay? Di ba? Now, so we're going to deal guys with the next which is the table. So, yung napasin nyo guys dito, this one is, ang guys sa tawag dito is horizontal form ng table. This one is the vertical. Okay, horizontal, vertical. So, which among the following item is said to be a function or not? Hmm, ano nga ba? Yung isa ay function, yung isa ay hindi. The question is why? So, same reason guys, kailangan walang pareha sa value of x. At yun po yung 1. Okay, clear na kayo naman yung guys. So, yun po, dapat walang pareha sila guys. Okay now, now we're going to deal with the graph. So, graph is more, uh, mas madali siya guys na intindihin. Okay? So, there's an example of the graph. We have a parang bilog, a straight line, and the one is uh, letter V. Now, which among them is said to be a function or not? So, ito po yung tanong diyan guys. We use a vertical line test. If every vertical line intersect the graph no more than once sabihin kapag nang intersect siya guys nang more than once dalawang beses tatlong beses apat na beses o mas marami pa guys hindi siya function pero kapag isang beses lang siya guys nag nag intersect automatic function siya sabi nga dito no more than once the graph is represent a function kapag isang beses lang nag intersect function kapag two or more Relation. Let us try to draw a vertical line. Pag nag vertical line tayo dito, ito nyo, pansin nyo dun sa graph A natin at graph B natin, both of them are relation. This one is relation, this one is relation kasi dalawang beses nag intersect sa line. Vertical line natin, which is the red one. Okay? So, yun po yung dahilan. Kailangan ba nag-vertical line ka? Automatic, guys. Isang mes lang mag-intersect. Function yun. Kapag sobra sa isa, dalawa, tatlo, o kahit pag ganong kadami yan, guys. Relation. Now, last is our equation and rules. We have two equation, guys, dito. The first one is y equals to 2x. So, if I'm going to replace an x for the value, any value will do, guys. Pansin nyo, isa lamang ang lumabas sa kanya. Kapag isa lamang ang lumabas sa sagot, matik guys, function yan. Pero pag tinrayin natin itong example letter B natin, y equals to 2 square root of x. You turn out to be, we're going to look for the square root of 4, which is a perfect square, guys. So, 2 square root of 4, guys, ang square root ng 4, laging dalawa. Isang negative 2 and positive 2. Bakit po? Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So, ang maging sagot niya, dalawa. At kapag dalawa, guys, ang sagot, if we're going to represent x as any value, guys, pag dalawa lagi ay lumabas sa sagot, automatic, yan po ay relation. So, when you try to substitute a value for x and yield two values, kapag dalawa daw po ang value ng y na lumabas, the relation is not a function. Pero pag isa lamang, matik, function po yan. Relation, function. Oh, mali pa spelling. Dapat yun yung n. Now, now, let's look for domain na range naman sa bawat representation, guys. So, we're done with determining whether they are function or not. Dito, tira natin, guys. So, ordered pa natin, guys, dito ay Domain natin ay 1, 2, 4, 5. Five. Ano po yun? Ito yun po yung 1, 2, 4, and 5. We have the range. We have 2, 3, 5, 6. So, 
3, 5, 6. So, X and Y lang naman po yan. How about sa number 2? Letter B, guys. Ano tingin nyo? Tama po kayo dyan. Ang domain po ay X, which is 1, and Y equals we have 2, 3, 5, and 6, which is the range. Now, guys, for the arrow diagram, we're going to the same, we do the same thing, guys. So, we have those items. Pansin nyo po, di ba? Now, we are going to look for the domain the range. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Doon sa first item natin, guys, ha? We have 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, which is for the Y. Sa kabila, medyo mas madali. We have 2, 4 for the X, and we have 6, 7, 8 for the range. X and Y lang, guys. X and Y lang po. For the table, guys, medyo mas madali ito lalo na. Masa nyo, X isang hilera lang yun. Y isang hilera. X isang hilera. Ewan ko na, pag nagkamali pa kayo, guys, na, napakasimple na niyan. Isang hilera na X, isang hilera ng Y, ganun din sa ano, X and Y sa kabila. Now, ang much complicated, guys, is this one, the graph. Now, ibig sabihin, guys, lahat ng bahagi ng graph na iyon, talaga matik, ay dominant range. O, diba? All X values and Y values within that graph, guys, bahagi, guys, lang tinatawag natin, dominant range. Pero kapag may definite point na binigay, mas maganda nga yun eh. For example, naglagay ng isang point dito, automatic yun ay 0, 1. Dito naman ay 1, 0. O, diba? Diba? It automatic. Meron tayong mga dominant range doon. Okay? So, pag may na tayong mga points sa binigay, ay dihanapin nyo lang yung value ng ordered pair tapos, X, syempre, lahat ng X ay domain, lahat ng Y ay range. Okay? That is how we deal with domain range and how do we determine whether a relation is a function or not? So guys, I hope you learned something from this video. This video is all about relation and function. So sana po nagustuhan po ninyo. And if you like this video, kindly like this, share it with your co-teacher. Don't forget to guys, to subscribe to my channel. And syempre hit the notification bell para updated po kayo sa ating mga discussion. Okay? So, so guys, iniimbitan ko rin po kayo minsan na tumambay po sa akin. Baka po tayo mag-live and we'll try our best para makapag-live every now and then para po mas makatulong po tayo sa mga sadyante. Ingat po, God bless you on the next video guys. So, huwag nyo pong kalimutan i-follow ang aking mga social media account. We have our Instagram, our Facebook, and syempre sa ating YouTube. At least, ingat!